Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I am so happy to have you all here with me today. So last week for my glue crew video, I made this and I'm going to tell you all about it because today I just want to play and decorate. So this is really just a craft with me, but I also wanted to share this project with you in case it's something that you would be interested in as well, because I am obsessed with it. So a week or two ago, I was at Dollar Tree and they have this dollhouse activity kit. And basically it's just a piece of cardboard that's folded twice and then you can open it up and it's like a dollhouse bedroom, but there's different rooms. So you can buy different rooms, but it doesn't matter to me because I'm covering it anyway. So let me show you what this looks like. Um, super cute for kids too. So you would open it up like this and it comes with some stickers to decorate and then a couple bits that are cardboard that you can pop out and make little characters with. And then basically it would sit up like this, you know, sit up and the kids can play with it. But what's this? Oh, another sticker. Um, but what I did is I glued over the whole thing and turned it into like a folio. And let me tell you, gluing on this was so fun and it stuck to it so good. It's like so flush and perfect. I'm just so proud of myself with the way I glued on this. <laughs> but it's super fun and I'm gonna go back and buy a few more. Now, you don't have to go out and purchase the same thing I did. It's $1.25. You could also do this with like a cereal box, a file folder, um, cardstock, whatever. But I really like this because it's a little bit thicker, um, but still thin, if that makes sense, you know? So you open it up, and this is what I did. I covered the whole inside. I did leave the spine, um, which I think is fine pink, but I'm going to add a little bit of gold paint right there. And so then the back, the back, I really didn't do anything special. I just wanted it covered, but I did round the corners on all of them. So all my paper went around the edge. So it has a nice clean paper edge all the way around and everything is just perfect. So I'm excited about this. Now, here's what you can do. You could add a paper signature in here if you wanted to. You could add uh, more papers to make it more flippy and flappy like a lap book. Um, what I was thinking is, is I was thinking about doing a waterfall right here with eight and a half by 11 papers, because these are, this is 12 inches tall by, I think right here was like nine, nine inches, nine by 12, this middle portion. So I think I might do like a waterfall right here so I can have even more gluing potential. But yeah, I'm just really excited about this. So I thought I would just play today and just um, add some little bits and bobs. I mean, I'm just gluing for fun. It's, you know, nothing special, I'm not selling it or anything like that. But I can't tell you how fun it was to just glue paper on here. You could also do this and uh, set it up like it's meant to be set up, you know, like up like this and decorate it. You could add photos on it. I was thinking about doing one with uh like dogs and then i could put pictures of my dogs all over this as like a little scrap album i digress there's lots of things you can do with this um let me see here real quick i just wanted to show you what i meant by a big waterfall so basically i would have yeah see this is eight and a half by 11 and it fits absolutely perfect like a glove and so i could cut this down a little bit and um, make a few pieces where I could have like a big master board basically and then you could flip them up so I might do that next um, but today I think I just want to play a little bit so I have some real vintage stamps right here that have already gone through the postal service these were ripped off of old envelopes I have some stamped numbers just a few um, I have some like little bits of paper ephemera from, you know, those little scrapbook kits and things you can get on like Timu and Amazon and stuff like that, where they have all kinds of papers. I have some sticker tickets here that are just all vintagey flowers and all kinds of stuff. And then I have a bunch of like vintage inspired washi stickers here. And then I have a bunch more uh, vintage inspired um, stickers. So... Oh, and I have a little basket here with some cut up ephemera from 
different various cut and collage books. So I have, I don't know, I just kind of thought like this might look really cute on here, but I don't know. I have some books. I have flowers. I have birds. This was like a piece of tape or something like a, a little cluster that I could put somewhere. I mean, I could just set these things everywhere. I have flowers, which I thought would be really pretty to put a few places. Like there's one. I have a key. These are vintage. They're from a um, field guide for birds. Here's another one from that field guide. So, you know, I could add, you know, something like that. What else do I have in here? Oh, here's like a ticket from a cut and collage book, a key, an old tin, some books. Some of these are more shiny and some of these are more matte. So I could do something like that and then put like this little tin right there. Have some flower or flowers, birds. that I could put I just really like adding flowers and stuff oh I have a mushroom oh I have an owl owl might look really good on here I would need something to kind of ground it down here maybe something like that maybe with like a little flower behind his head you know, something like that. I have a old fashioned little shoe here. I don't know. And I have a bunch of butterflies cause you know, your girl loves her butterflies. We have some of those and some birds. Let's keep all the birds together, flowers. Okay, I don't even know where I wanna start with this. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Or where I want to go with it. That's the thing. Um, okay, so I do like this flower right here. I just think it looks really pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and just glue that down. I wonder if I should put like... Um, I think I might put like a little sticker behind it first. Oh my gosh, these washi stickers, man. <laughs> I can never get these open. Oh, there we go. Okay. Man, washi stickers are hard to get off. Okay, so I like it kind of like that. So I want to put this about right here. I don't think I got that on there even, but that's okay. I'm just going to let it go. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to give this a little press, make sure it's all the way down. And I think I'll put that like that. Yeah, that looks good. So there's a lot of options with this. You could add paper and... Uh, flips and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not sure what else I'm going to do with this yet. I'm just having fun and playing. Honestly, gluing on it was one of the highlights of my week. It was so fun. <laughs> it was so fun to just sit there and glue. Oh my gosh. It was amazing. Okay. I want to ground that. So maybe I'll add could add like a little bird. I don't like that. Could add another ticket or something. Um, what's over here? These are like different papers and I could do something like that. There's this too. Gonna put it like that. What else do I have? I have this one. This one's a little skinnier. Could have it go over it a little bit. No, I don't like that. The dust. Let's just try all the things. Oh, there's this one too. I don't like that one as much. I think I might go with that. Put the papers back up here. Oh, here's like a little, oh wait, what's this? 
a little inventory tag. Could have it go at an angle. No, I don't like that as much as I as I liked this. Okay, so let's add that. Do I want to ink around it? I have just a little bit on my on my brush here, so I'll just kind of use whatever residge I have on here still. There we go. Did you guys have a good weekend? I hope you did. We had a good weekend. Um, Bob and the boys smoked a bunch of ribs. I showed that to the glue crew and they turned out amazing. We've all decided that there's no way we could ever eat ribs or buy ribs from a restaurant or the grocery store ever again because ours are so good. <laughs> they were amazing, I will say. They were very good. Okay. I could add that there. Ooh, maybe I want to go with the yellow. That looks good. Okay. I'm going to go around this as well. Now, I cut off the antenna on this butterfly because I will just draw them in with gold pen later. When I outline them with a little bit of white, I outline their antennae as well. But with these, I just straight... Uh, fussy cut. No border. All right. There we go. Really didn't want to cover up those numbers, but I needed a little something else here for my little cluster. Okay, that looks nice. Ooh, this is fun. Ooh, I was thinking too, I could add like a little bit of lace trim on this edge right here. <gasps> that would look so good. Maybe I need to do that. Might need to do that today. I just might. Ooh, that looks good there. Let's do that. Again, I'm just going around this with whatever residual ink is left. It just kind of helps um, the image look more, um, you know, like I cut it pretty good, but you can always see a little bit of the white um, on the sides of the paper. And if you, you know, kind of missed a little bit and inking it just kind of helps with that. And it just makes the image look more cohesive in my, in my opinion, but it's definitely not necessary. You do not have to do it. It's just a personal cosmetic choice on my part. can't wait to see what else I do with this. So I definitely think I want to add the waterfall and... Uh-oh, I just tore this. I knew I was going to do that. Darn it. Okay, let's put it back together. I can do it. A little cosmetic surgery. And you'll never know it ripped. Hold on, get in there. There. Ah, stay down. Oh, there. Oh my gosh, you can't even tell. It's perfect. Literally cannot tell. I'm not even joking. Okay, that looks great. So we have that there. Do I want to add... I think I'll just add this little washi sticker right here. What other washi stickers? I have this one where it's a little darker in color. Maybe I'll go with that. All right, can I get this off? That is the question. I did. I got it off first try. Oh my gosh, I'm a pro. Oh, apparently Sherman doesn't think so. Did you hear him? He was like, <sighs> what's up, Tina? What you need, girl? You need a potty? Okay. I also have this key, which I thought might look really nice, but I do want to fussy cut the inside and I didn't get a chance to do that. Okay. Do I want to add the gold there right now or should I wait just a smidge? I think I'll wait. Should I add like, that one looks good. This one's a little smaller. Could add it like that. Oh, it's so hard. I don't know. I want to add all the things and it's making me feel all. Could add some birds. Another. Oh, I have this owl, too. I do like the owl. 
Do I like that there? Hmm. I don't know what I like. Ooh, this boot might look kind of cute here. Maybe even right here. Little shoe. I don't know why I feel weird about the shoe. Ooh, should I put this mushroom? Might wait for that. I do like the birds. What other bird do I have? This one. That looks good. I also have this one I could do. Maybe I should put this one. No, because that's yellow and yellow. Well, this one's yellow too. Hmm. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. Okay. Oh, I have this little bird. Okay, I think I'll put this bird down here. Where's my glue stick? Here it is. I also have some Tim Holtz people over here as well that I could use. Maybe I wanna add one of them on the front. Let's see here. You know, like some of these taller ones might work really well on the cover. In fact, I do like that. Although I also have this big mushroom, so I could also have, you know, this kid sitting on the mushroom. Like that. I almost want like a smaller kid, like him, but smaller. No. I don't want that. Oh, there's this girl, too. Ooh, if I put like that. Put the mush. Put the girl. That's cute. Maybe I'll do that. Okay. I like that. I do like the guy though too. I could have him standing like behind the mushroom. Or should I have him on this side? Okay, well let's do this with her first. So let's go around the mushroom just to get any of that white edge off. I've got Shermanator in here with me today. Say hi, Shermie. Where are you? Oh, he's literally sleeping next to my feet. Why aren't you in your bed, bud? All right, so I need to glue my mushroom first. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe how many of you saw that video that I was talking about the other day. <laughs> ah, that cracks me up. Oh, so many of you saw it. And knew exactly what I was talking about. That's hilarious. I'm going I am going to just tuck the mushroom stem underneath instead of cutting it off. Okay, and so then she would go like this. Yes. Let me put the lid on this for just a second here. I want to go around her as well. That just gets away that white edge. So I've said five thousand times. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying it. Ugh. Man, it was so nice this weekend. It really was. Like, Friday was a really nice day. Wait, am I thinking right? I think it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was like 50 degrees or something. It was crazy. So nice. We also made another batch of beef jerky because the boys of the house are obsessed. Our smoker has been such a fun... Um, 
item for our family. We get a lot of use out of it. So the reason why I'm using, just in case anybody's wondering, why I'm using my art glitter glue instead of my glue stick. My glue stick would work, um, but with heavier items that are thicker like this, I tend to go to my um, art glitter glue because it has a very strong hold and it holds really fast. But like I said, I do use a permanent glue stick, so it would work, but this just is quicker and easier for me and I feel like I get my hold right away. I'm gonna use my little thing here to push this down so I'm not, just kind of hold it down for a second so that glue really gets that chance to adhere. Oh my goodness, she is adorable. Now, do I add the guy right here? Like maybe this is her brother, you know what I mean? I kind of feel like I do now. He just matches to me, so I'm going for it. I'm creating a little story here. I'm just gluing for funsies. And let me tell you, I'm going back today to buy more of these because it is worth the $1.25 to me. Um, I, I really enjoyed it. I had fun. I feel like I can make lots of things. One of my glue crew members suggested you can make a huge birthday card for somebody. Brilliant. I love that idea. Um, and like I said, you could make it like a scrapbook and add photos, all that kind of stuff. I think that would be really neat. I could do one for Sherman and one for Xena, or I could make one that has both of them on it. Just super fun. They're just kind of over in the toy aisle by where all the dollhouse stuff is and like Barbie stuff. That's where I found mine. Okay, where's my little tool? Let's just push him down. He's a big boy. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so when our house was built, we have a sliding glass back door, right? And whoever built our house, so let's just say this is my sliding glass door. They put our heating vent right in front of the part where you open the door. So we have to step over the vent because we have to have the we have the plastic piece, you know, so it pushes the air towards my living room. Otherwise, it just goes up the drapes. You know what I mean? The amount of times that we have had to replace the plastic piece is unreal because Bob and Jackson step on it all the time. So, like, in the summer, if we know we're going to be in and out, like we're cooking and stuff, we just take the plastic piece off the vent and put it aside because we kick it constantly. Well... Bob broke it the other day with his big old feet, kicked it, stepped it, crunched on it. This is probably our 20th one. I'm not even joking. Granted, we've been here almost 20 years. So then we have it on there for, what, a day and a half? And then Jackson walks through. He's helping Bob with something. And Jackson steps on it. We had just bought it less than 24 hours before because Bob broke one. Oh, my gosh. These two, I swear. So whenever we get new carpets, we're going to have somebody come in and reroute that like over. So it's not, why would they put a vent right there, right where you walk in and out of the house? It drives me nuts. So anyway, <laughs> like Bob, when Jackson stepped on it, we all were just like, you have got to be kidding me. Those two are like two peas in a pod. I swear. Okay. So I really do like these little stamps. I want to add... I want to add some. I do have this purple. That might add a nice little pop of color. Maybe I'll do like another little cluster thing up here with a few things. So let's see. I do have this sticker. Let's just add it there. I do better when I just, I have to work around things. Oh my gosh, these freaking stickers. Drive me nuts. Okay, I'm gonna use the straight line on my grid. Although that might not have been straight, but okay. So we have that. Then I was thinking I could add like a little stamp up here. Let's just add that blue stamp. I am going to go around, go around this. Ooh, it says 10 cents. Does it have a year on it? No, but it was 10 cents. So however long ago that was. And they're raising the stamps again. Oh my gosh. It's going to be hard for us to even send happy mail to each other with an envelope soon. It's just getting so expensive. Inflation. Okay, what is this? I really like it. It's a washi tape sticker. 
And I kind of want to add it. I'm going to add it. Oh, should I put it right here? That's green on green though. So maybe I'll, I mean, this is green on green too, but it's a different green. Okay. And I also want to add something else with this. So maybe another bird. I don't have a smaller butterfly because I wasn't thinking ahead. I do have this I could put right there. I don't want to hide the 10 cents. Could do something like that. I also did it in red. I don't like any of those options. And I don't have to put something there right now. I can wait. Oh, I could put this little shoe. No. I don't really want to use this. I don't know why I put it there. I thought I would want to, but I don't. I do have this tin. No, I don't want to use that either. Um, I want something else there, and I just don't know what exactly it might be. Could just do something like that. That kind of matches though. I want something else right here. Maybe just a big green butterfly. No, because that's too matchy matchy. Birds. I want some birds. I don't want it to be cluttered though, and I feel like I'm getting there. Um Do I like that right there? I'm not sure. I kind of did. Let's just put it there. It's not the end of the world if I don't like it later down the road. I'm just having fun. Having fun with my craft supplies. Jackson was so cute this weekend. He was like, <laughs> he's like, mom, how come you haven't been in your craft room crafting? I said, I don't know. And he goes, is it turn? Is it because it's turned into work? And I said, yeah, kind of. And he said, Mom, what did I tell you about mixing business and pleasure? <laughs> it's like, you can't do that. And I said, listen, I got mouths to feed and bills to pay. It's this or OnlyFans. You choose. And he's like, oh, whoa, whoa, that's enough. That's enough of that. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. No, that's enough of that. That's funny. I love my kids. They're great kids. They really, really are. Oh, this is upside down. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oops, that is way crooked. I don't mind if it's like a little crooked, but I don't want it like super crooked. There we go. Little crooked is fine. Big crooked, no. Okay. I don't want to add that. That seems a bit harsh. Could add one of those there. I still want something right here. It's really driving me nuts. Maybe I should just add like a ticket. Hmm. Maybe I'll just add the birds right there. I have those birds. I could add like half a flower or something right there. Wrap it around. Could do that up here too. That might look real nice. What's this one? No. Oh, here's something round. This is a round ephemera sticker. This might look good here. Could do that there. Could do that up here. It definitely needs something right here. I just don't know what that is yet. If I want to put that there or not. Um, what else do I have? Oh, this one's a little smaller. Which way does this go? This way. I 
could do this and like have it go over and then put like a bird there or something. Decisions, decisions. Oh, maybe I'll just put this here. Do I want to put that there? I don't know. Hmm. I could put that there and then like have a little bird or another stamp. either. Okay, what else do I have? Those are stickers. That's too big. These are some stickers. What's this? Okay, let's add some trim. Let's see, how much do I need here? Okay. I always do a little extra and then I can cut it off at the end. All right, and now I need my How much do I want? Okay, you know what I should put underneath here is, I'm actually just going to take this. I just kind of need something that I can see. Oh shoot, I had my bottle upside down this whole time so that it would come out perfect and then I just turned it back the other way. That was not smart. Okay, so let's just add our little dab of glue here and I am using Fabri-Tac. Someone suggested to me that I should use my art glitter glue for this and I did try it and it does not hold so I do not suggest doing that. If you find that it does work for you then awesome it did not work for me. Okay, so now that I have my Fabri-Tac on there, let's take my ribbon and I am just going to put it down on here where I need it to be. And then I'm going to take this tool because it's plastic and it won't stick to my fingers and just kind of press it down. Oops, I got way too much down here. Let's just kind of wipe that off a little bit. Oh, it still got all over me. All right, let me lift this up and see if that's about even all the way across. It is not. I need to push all this back just a little bit. Okay, I think that's good. 
giving it one more little press. Lift it up, kind of check it out. I mean, it's pretty close all the way across. So once that dries, then I will cut off the edges, but I just want to make sure it dries first. Holy smokes, this is cute. So cute. Okay. I kind of don't like that there's this little line right here. So I kind of want to add something that's tall and skinny right there. What do I have that's... Ooh, what's this? This might be perfect. Darn it, that would have been perfect had it not... Actually, I can just cut the top of it off. Put it like that. Let me, where's my corner rounder? I'm gonna round this corner. Not on this side, cause you won't see it anyways. Okay, let me glue that in there. Gluing, we are gluing. Okay. Just gonna tuck that right under there. Okay. I like that better. Um, what else do I want here? Now I'm making a mess. Ooh, I forgot I had this. It's like a, oh, maybe I'll put that right there. Oh, that works good. Okay. That's what I'll do. I'll put that right there. Let's do that real quick. I definitely want to go around this though. You know what? Maybe I do need some actual ink this time. Boop. I use archival ink in potting soil. It's my favorite brown that I've used so far. I also have the coffee one. Um, I've talked about this quite a bit, but I, it kind of leaves like a more yellowy hint in the brown, and I didn't like that. So I went with potting soil, and I am a happy camper. I love it. All right, let's glue this down. Oh my gosh, this is fun. This is just the cover, and I could add so many more things to this still. Ah, I love crafting. So relaxing and fun. Okay, let's put that. Is that upside down? Yes. Were you yelling at me? I sure hope so. Okay. There we go. Let's use my little tool here. Give that a press. How's this coming along? It should be pretty much dry by now. Yep. So let's cut those edges off. But I, oh, literally right in front of my face. I was about to say, where are my scissors? I'm gonna let it hang over just a wee bit. I think that might look kind of nice. And by a wee bit, I mean literally just a wee bit. <laughs> I could pretty much leave this side the way it is, but I'm just going to cut a wee bit off. Okay. Perfect. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. Okay, I want to add my... I do need something right here. I really do. This bird just seems so in your face. Is black too much? That seems a bit much. What other birds do I have? Oh yeah, I have these. Oh, I could put another stamp over here. Like a, a red one. Or purple. Okay, I can work on that later. <clears throat> I need, <clears throat> excuse me, I definitely need to cut out some more butterflies, or uh, flowers and butterflies. Okay, so let's just, like that. Okay, and then I could go through and add some gold dots and stuff places. You guys can't see that, but I can. Ooh, this looks 
so good. This is so fun. So you could do this with magazines as well. You could do this with magazine images, which I will probably do because you guys know I love that. Um, yeah, I will most definitely do that. You know, what if this key, would that key look good there? That seems a bit big too. Well, I thought I had enough things out that I wanted, but some of these butterflies are just way too big for me for this page. Could add a little number there. There is this little tiny black one. Could put that one like right here maybe. I do like that. Could put it right there too. Did I do any more in black? Oh, I did this one in black. Okay, let's glue those down. Do I want the bigger one right here? The smaller one up here? I think that's what I'll do. Okay. Alrighty. Did I just wipe gold paint on myself? No. Okay. I couldn't see the little gold dot of where I just like pushed my pen down and I thought maybe I got it on my golden girl sweatshirt and I was about to have a hissy fit. <laughs> Nobody messes with my golden girl sweatshirt. Okay. That looks good. I do want to put something there, probably a stamp and maybe a mini butterfly or a little flower or something. Do I put my stamp there? Do I tuck a stamp in here? Um, could add just this little coupon sticker here. That doesn't look bad. I might do that. Yes. Ooh, I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to go for it. It's not the end of the world. It's just a sticker and I'm having fun. So I'm going for it. I can't put so much pressure on myself all the time to make everything like so perfect, you know? I need to have fun too. Okay, where's my little, eh, two L. There we go. Okay, that looks good. That looks real nice. Okay, I'm happy with what I did so far today. Next time, I'm definitely going to, I think I still want to add a couple more like little butterflies. And then I definitely want to do the master board down here and then also decorate. I could also have some flip outs here if I wanted or not at all. Um, I might just... I don't know what I'll do. We'll see. I really like the addition of the lace on the side. Ooh, that looks real nice. Ooh, I love it so much. All right, everyone. That is going to conclude today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me while I crafted and, you know, just, just played. And just start the week off with some playtime, and I think that's so important. I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Don't forget to drink your water. Give this video a like if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, friends.